Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a simple zipped purse with a lining. Right, so I'm going to start off by telling you what I used to make this purse. I used a zip, so my one was a 15cm long zip. I cut out two outer pieces in the main fabric. I cut mine um, 13 by 11 centimeters. Um, if you did want to make the same sized one. I also cut out a bit of fusible fleece just because I used it on the matching bag and I had a bit left over. I cut out two lining pieces the same size as the outer pieces and I cut out a bit of fabric for the keyring tab. You only need about four by four centimeters but I had a scrap so I didn't actually cut it down immediately. You also need a zipper foot. So the first step which is entirely optional depending if you're using fusible fleece is to add the fusible fleece to the main fabric pieces that will be on the outside of your purse. Uh, with this fusible fleece, it takes about 12 seconds, I think, um, the one I've got anyway to adhere. So the first actual step is to attach one main fabric piece and one lining piece to the zip. So I've put up some images as well to help you. So first you place one of your main fabrics right side up you place the zip right side down onto the main fabric piece so that the zip edge lines up with the top edge of the main fabric. Next, you add the lining piece on top of the zip right side down. So the lining piece, um, the top edge will line up with that edge of the zip and the top of the outer piece. So pin, tack, and then machine stitch this in place using your zipper presser foot. Once you've done that, fold the main and lining pieces back so that the right sides are now facing outwards and press it in place so that you can now see the zip again. The second step is to attach the remaining main and lining pieces. So you place the remaining main fabric piece you have in front of you, right side up, and then place the zip once more down on top. Um, but again facing downwards and then like before then sandwich that zip again by putting the lining the remaining lining fabric piece over the top right side down pin tack and then machine stitch in place using your zipper presser foot once more And again, once stitched, fold the main aligning pieces on the second side back so that the zip can be seen between the two main fabric pieces and the two lining pieces. Press with your iron and then chop stitch. You also need to secure the zip at either end, so just a little line of stitching at both ends just so that when you open it a little bit later, it, you won't, they won't become disjointed and keep its shape. So next you need to make the loop, the keyring loop. First you need to fold your loop fabric in half and press. Unfold and then fold the raw edges to meet the fold line you created. Refold at the fold line so that the raw edges are now tucked in the middle. Stitch close to both of the long edges. You won't need to um, neaten up the raw edges as they'll be on the inside of your purse. Um, and then stitch close to both long edges. Fold in half so that the raw edges are together and then they're ready to attached to the main piece. So step number five is to stitch the sides and base of the purse. An important thing to note is to keep the zip open to ensure that you can turn the purse right side out. Fold the purse so that the lining pieces line up together right sides facing and the main fabric pieces match up right sides facing. So you need to decide where you're going to position your loop where you would like it on the side of your purse. So you need to um, put it in between the two main pieces of fabric so that when you turn it out the right way, it will be on the outside. So pin, tack, and then stitch all the way around the bag, but remember to leave a gap at the bottom of the lining so that you can turn it right side out. So 
So the final step, step number six, is to turn the bag right side out, finish the lining base and add the keyring. So as you've noticed, I've already added the keyring on mine. Before turning the purse right way out, I would recommend trimming the corners of the bag and possibly the seam allowances throughout with pinking shears. This will help you get um, better points on the corners of your purse. So once you've trimmed it, then you can push it through so that the right side is now facing outwards and you can use a blunt angle tool to push out those corners. So with the lining still poking out of the purse, you'll need to then finish off um, the gap that you pulled the purse through. So with this, you can either slip stitch in place or you could just machine stitch very close to the edge to secure as well, depending what finish you want on the inside. So once that's done, you just need to tuck the lining inside the purse and zip it up. Finally, if you haven't already, add the keyring to the loop and you're done. You can change the size of the zipped purse, you just need to change the dimensions of the main and lining pieces of fabric. And it's just a really useful pattern. You could make a little gift set for a friend um, by putting some stationery inside it, or obviously it's perfect as a purse to hold coins in. Or you could even store your button stash in it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.